Ezra Bean or Ezra and Sabine's relationship have long been a popular topic on the channel, and I believe there are some important hints about this relationship early on in the series, moments that could give us some insight into a possible Ezra and Sabine romantic relationship being set up in the rumored Star Wars Rebels sequel series. One such event is when Sabine and Ezra first meet. Sabine actually allows Ezra to escape with one of the crates the Rebels are trying to steal from the Empire. Sabine certainly seems to respect how bold Ezra is at this moment, because she could have easily shot him, but instead just takes back one of the crates, and allows him to escape with the other. And maybe she's just playing with Ezra and wants to see if he can escape Kanan and Zeb. Or maybe she finds him attractive. Well, to answer that question, let's move on to the next clip, where they have their first conversation on the ghost, during which Ezra asks what type of group they are, and Sabine mentions they are a family. But Ezra's reaction in this conversation is pretty interesting as well. Sabine. My name's Sabine. So surely after this clip, you can see that Ezra is, at the very least, interested in Sabine, and even though Sabine said earlier in the conversation that they are a family, she does share her name with Ezra and does it in such a way that it seems like she might like him. Again, is this the fact that she respects that he's a good in a fight, or the fact that she's attracted to him? Well, let's get some insight into what Sabine is really thinking about Ezra. In her sketchbook, there is a couple sections about Ezra. In one, she states, This week we picked up a new stray, Ezra Bridger. He's a Lothal kid. Ezra has been living on his own for a while and fighting the Empire in his own way. I like his spirit, end quote. So this section seems to confirm my earlier thoughts that Sabine likes how bold Ezra is, especially for someone so young. In the same section, she talks about how Ezra was captured by the Empire and states, We went back and got Ezra, of course, but come on, Zeb, is that any way to treat family? End quote. She is, of course, referring to the fact that Ezra was left behind by Zeb, but again, she uses this word family. So does this mean that there's no chance of a romantic relationship between the two? Well, let's move on to another section of the sketchbook where she states, Meet Scepter 6. That's great as far as I'm concerned. It's impossible for a family to be too big. Again, she mentions that they are part of a family, but later on in the entry, she clearly states Ezra's interest in her, suggesting, Does he pay a little too much attention to me? Sure, but he's like 14. I'm sure he'll grow out of it. End quote. So again, like the earlier clip, we see that Ezra is certainly interested in Sabine romantically, but that comment at the end is hard to interpret. Does Sabine mean that she hopes he's going to grow out of it, or is she hoping that he doesn't? So without a doubt, in Season 1 of Rebels, Ezra is very interested in Sabine, and while Sabine does seem interested in Ezra too, it just might not be romantically yet. So after reviewing Season 1, what do you think? Does this set up Sabine and Ezra's romantic relationship in the rumored sequel series? Let me know in the comments. And as always, I want to say I'm Mike. Thanks for watching and may the Force be with you.